Hello everyone, my name is Sheetal and welcome back to my channel. In my last video, I had brought for you some tips and tricks to make it easier for you to work from home efficiently while doing all the other work that you have to do right now, especially with the lockdown. In today's video again, I bring you some more tips, tricks or hacks, whatever you want to call them, to make life a little bit easier for each one of us during this time. After my last video, I had uh, many people reaching out to me asking uh, for more tips, asking for clarity on some of the things that I had uh, mentioned in my previous video. So I thought I would uh, touch upon a few of those things in this video with you. So shall we start? So I was talking about uh, the tools that you may have around your house. If you have any of those, please make uh, full use of it. Uh, like for example, this was a garlic press, uh, which I had bought online some time back. Now it's helping me out a lot because uh, I just put in the garlic, the peeled garlic over here and press it and I get it like really small. So I don't have to like sit and cut for hours. Again, I also use uh, choppers like this. So this was something I had at home and this is helping me out a lot right now. Because ginger, garlic, all of those I'm cutting and keeping in these and uh, any of your vegetables, like all of them I'm cutting in this. Uh, so it takes away quite a lot of your, uh, you know, stress in cutting each of those things and all. And because I've not been involved with cooking for a really long time, my uh, knife speed is not that great. You know, cutting speed is not that great. So this is helping me out. So similar to that, there will be other things that you can, you know, check around and it will help you out. Uh, especially once the lockdown lifts in case you get a chance, please uh, get these things. You'll get it in grocery shops. It's available online. Uh, one of the things I had suggested in my last video uh, was making and stocking up on raggy balls. For those of you who haven't seen my last video, I'll put in the link to that in my description box. So the raggy ball uh, that I used to make earlier used to be a laborious process. A little bit, I, mean, I won't say it is very bad, but then, you know, it was a little difficult. Uh, now I have found a powder. It's called a popped raggy powder. So it's in Karnataka, I think it's called raggy huri hitto. Uh, I'm sure there are different brands who make this. This is something that has worked out really well for me because I've realized that with this powder, the advantage is because it's already popped, you don't need to cook it. You don't need to dry roast it or cook it. So now all I do is take this powder, add in the other ingredients. I put in a little bit of ghee, water um, and um, salt and jaggery. That's it. I put make it into a dough form and then I roll it out into balls. Actually, my eight year old does most of it because she's very excited about the fact that she can help me in cooking. And because there's no cooking or heating up involved, I also don't have to be worried that she'll get hurt in any way. You know, so it's a win-win situation. So she helps me with that. And I make up uh, quite a few of it, stock it in the fridge. It'll easily keep for a week. No problem at all. And then in the evenings when the kids want a snack, I just uh, take this out and either keep it outside for a little while and then give them. Or better yet, warm it up a bit for a few seconds in the microwave and give it to them. Both of them really love it. Have some snack options with you, not just for your kids, for yourself as well. As you're running through the day, it will be very difficult for you to keep your, your energy up if you don't get something to yourself. And we know how difficult it is to really sit down for a meal, though I would really suggest it. I know I myself don't get to sit down with the whole family any because I would probably be feeding my younger kid at that time. So uh, figure out ways in which you can keep your energy up. Have some small snack bites. Again, uh, try and make them healthy so that you don't pile on weight during this lockdown period. Though I don't know, yeah, when you're running around doing all this work, I really don't know how you can put on weight. But, but yeah, of course, if you're eating all the wrong things and too frequently, you will put on weight. So the way around it that I have found is that um, have, if possible, these nuts and seeds and all, have them roasted and kept. So dry roast them either on the stove top or you keep it on the um, and keep it in the microwave and roast it. You can do that. Uh, badam and all, it'll take you somewhere around two to three minutes to uh, dry roast it. Of course, depending on how you like it. Like, do you like it more crunchy, less crunchy, and all of that. And uh, so, what I do is when I am doing it on the stove top, especially, I say, for example, I do uh, ground nuts on the stove top. I do uh, cashew nuts on the stove top. I do flax seeds on the stove top, dry roasting on the stove. So what I do is, uh, I do it in, in it together. In the sense that I do peanuts first 
and then immediately remove it to another um, plate or whatever to cool down. And in that same vessel I use for a frying pan or whatever I use for doing that uh, uh, peanuts or ground nuts, I do the cashew nuts. Again, once that is out of the picture, I do the flax seeds. Again, once that is out of the picture, I dry roast any grains that I might want to. Like, for example, broken wheat is something that I dry roast. Oats is something, again, I sometimes dry roast. I feel that it makes it a little more crispy and crunchy and it's a nice texture. So those things, when I'm doing it one after the other in a row, and typically I do this mostly on weekends, but because the frying pan and all, the pan is already, you know, uh, heated and all that, the time taken is much lesser because it's it's again and again on a uh, in a dry pan that you're doing and none of these things are sticky so you can you don't have to wash it after each thing is done so it hardly takes me about uh, 15 minutes to you know get somewhere around four or five items ready so it's a win-win situation do all that keep it stored for the week and whenever through the week whenever you need a snack or a pick me up you can use any one of these you can give them to the kids also to your spouse also works out well you know, you can actually cut and uh, peel and cut and keep uh, ginger and even garlic, you know, cut it into smaller pieces and keep it in the fridge in airtight Ziploc bags or dabbas or whatever you have on hand. Uh, and uh, you can even keep it in the freezer and take out small portions and put that in for your cooking. And that works brilliantly. But you can actually, um, you know, put in uh, tomato, cut tomatoes and... Um, uh, the masalas and then again saute it bring it down to the consistency that we usually have no for most of our uh, um, dishes bring it to that level and then apparently you can keep it that also in the fridge and it'll keep or if you're very worried you can even keep it up in the freezer uh, maybe cut it you know not cut it put it into smaller portions and then keep it in the freezer and then whenever you need it you can take it out and then thaw it and use it Air fryer is another thing that uh, many times I've seen that people will have it at home, but we very sparingly use it, uh, you know, maybe to fry some chicken or some fish uh, or maybe to make up french fries. That's about it. I also used to uh, do it like that only. But now I've started experimenting more with uh, different recipes for air fryers. And they're not, I'm not like uh, researching them online and doing it properly. That's the best way to do it. But I just didn't have the time. So I'm just going ahead and uh, doing a bit of trial and error now. Thankfully, most of the things I've tried in that have come out very well. Uh, it's brilliant uh, to roast any vegetables in. So last day I roasted some carrots in it. Um, cut it lengthwise and then uh, put in a little bit of chili powder, salt and uh, oil. And then just kept it in there for about, I think, about 8 to 10 minutes. Just stirred it or rather shook it once in between. That was it. It came out really well. I also made potato wedges again in the same way, came out really well. Um, bindi or uh, uh, okra, you know, those I cut it again long uh, lengthwise and then uh, put in a little bit of uh, the same masalas and then a little bit of amchur also I had added and made that also. I've done it once before, it had come out well, but I didn't remember how much time I had kept it then. So this time around I went ahead and kept it for 10 minutes. Um, it came out a little burnt, uh, so next time I won't be doing it at least uh, that long. I think about 8 minutes should do, uh, but you'll have to check in between. And that also came out really well. So when you really crunch for time and you need to have a vegetable on the table, uh, salads of course are again an option, but in case you want something cooked for your family, but you don't have time to actually stand there and do it and all that, air fryer is also a very good option. So uh, similarly, there will be other things also at home that you can use. So please take a look around your house, shop through your kitchen or your house and see what all you can use. Sorry, my daughter woke up. So I guess we'll have to do a bit of this with her also along for company. Um, okay, going ahead. Say hi. One pot meals are a very good addition right now um, to your skills. Uh, try and do them as often as possible, especially on the days that you're really pressed for time. So you can add in your vegetables, your grains, uh, whether it's rice, broken wheat, quinoa, suji, whatever is your option. And for protein, you can add in paneer or uh, in the lentils, uh, pulses, whatever it is. Some of those might need overnight soaking, like if you're doing a rajma or a chana as the protein part of it. But otherwise, uh, you wouldn't need to do that also. So put them all together, put in the spices that you like, put in the 
try and uh, make it uh, less masala heavy because this is a uh, it it is a lighter kind of uh, meal and it's it's a very nice refreshing kind of taste if you're interested i'll put in the recipe for uh, one pot meal that i do pretty often these days in the um, description below uh, you can look it up uh, it was suggested by a friend of mine and it has uh, really been working out well for us i hope you like this video if you did please click on the like button also please do subscribe to my channel i hope to bring forward more content like this and with other topics as well very soon for you until then take care and stay safe see you soon